All right, we are back at it tonight. Um, got a lot of new exciting paints in today. Um, got the new um, UVLS high gloss. I'm really excited about it. Um, got a lot of the new um, Wicked and Createx illustration new colors. Um, Fire Red, which is a Createx. That's a new color for this year. Um, illustration Teal. I'm going to use that on a lot of my shad baits. Um, it's a flat black. I've always wanted a flat black for my painting collection. Um, got a yellow green oxide. Frog juice. This is one of my favorite colors. I'm going to use it tonight. I've got a color shift um, flare lemon lime. And then I got the new gloss white, which is what I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm sure the camera doesn't even do it justice, but I've painted this bait in gloss white. And man, it's got, it. When I, and I have, well, since I've got the 3D stencil out, I'm kind of just playing around tonight. I'm, I'm gonna play around with doing a little frog pattern. Uh, but I have put a little, a light coat of the UVLS high gloss over this. And guys, I gotta tell you, I'm impressed with it. It is, it is very, very shiny. Um, it gives off a, um, a great uh, bright white for certain baits that you're going to use. And I know my camera's probably not doing it justice. But we're just going to play around. I'm going to use some um, Whitmore Farm stencils tonight. Um, uh, and we're just going to play around with some of this... Uh, uh, flare um, lemon lime on some black. We're going to use this uh, detailed reptile stencil from Whitmore Farm. And I've also got two little round stencils. One of these I got from Jeff at Whitmore Farms. www.whitmore farm. And a little round one I'm going to use to kind of put some shade in with the um, flare. Oh, uh, because I have painted it white. I mean, I could have painted it yellow. I, I really just wanted to play around with the new paints tonight. Um, probably could have painted this yellow and then used white on my stencil and then used the black and then put some of the shade in on that. Probably would have been very cool. But um, I did want to see how this white was. So we're actually going to go, we're going to do, oh, uh, I'm going to do some black over this. And we're just going to kind of play around with it a little bit and see how it comes out. So I'm going to take this out and we'll move this down. I don't need it right now. And I'm going to stick this in here. Like I said, I have put um, a coat of Autoborn Sealer White. I put uh, a coat of this Wicked High Gloss White. W017 is the number. It's new. Um, and then I did put up a coat of the high gloss UVLS. So, when I use these 3D stencils, they tend to want to scratch the baits up when you take them off. And I found if you'll if you'll put the um, UVLS, a coat of it over, or some Autoborn Sealer Clear, it just kind of eliminates that. And that, you know, it's kind of disheartening when you take off the 3D stencil and, uh, and, your, um, and your bait scratched up. Uh, I don't like that, so it's kind of worked for me, so I'll pass that tip along to you. I'm going to spray this with my PS771. I'm going to get some carbon black in this gun, and we're going to lightly hit it with that. Because when you're using these... Um, flare colors, you want to put them over black. So what we're going to do, we're going to, um, we're going to go ahead and just lightly hit this stencil, um, uh, with some black. I'm going to cut my pressure down. I got it up too high. I'm going to knock it back down to about 20. Cause I don't want to blast this thing. I'm 
and it just puts a nice mist on it. And then I'll show you, we'll kind of play with this flare green lemon lime. I'm going to leave that little bit of black in there. I'll go ahead and take this off. These 3D stencils I actually got from Carrie White at backwateroutfitting.com. He's got a lot of varieties of them, um, so go check him out. The 3D stencils have their place in lure painting. I mean, I, I use them a, a decent amount. So I'm going to put this back in. And I'm going to hit the eyes. And then I'm going to put a little bit of this reptile stencil from Whitmore Farm on it. And you just got to kind of play with things, guys. And that's how, I mean, to be honest with you, I, I was talking to Jonathan Wampler the other day. You know, I'm, I'm by means no, I'm by no means the best painter. I, I just think my creativity helps me out a lot. And in painting these lures, you know, you know, as painters, we're always looking for the next big thing. <laughs> and I think sometimes we just need to kind of stick to what we do best. All right, and that kind of gives it a reptile, froggy type look. Probably do a little bit on the bottom. Um. I mean, I love to do the crawls. I could have, I could have painted another crawl tonight with no problem, but I don't want y'all to get tired of me painting crawls. I just, I just, that's just my first love in painting, and I, I just, um, I just like painting them. And the reason we'll do the bottom on this is because I want to play with that shift paint, and you want to put that over black. I think you get the best effect with it. Oops, I'm going to hit the camera. All right. So, what I'm going to do is I'm definitely going to leave some of the white in there. I, I like to have the, um, the different colors when I'm finished. Uh, I like to start, I mean, I really like to start lighter and go up, but like I said, I'm using the, um, the flare, um, paint from Wicked, the new one, and I want to try just to see how it turns out. I've got a really good idea for a crawl pattern that I'm going to do. I'm just kind of wanting to play with it to see how it's going to work. Uh, I know it's going to be great. I was watching Chris Arpin of Createx do a video. Well, you need to go check them out on YouTube on Createx um, videos. And he does a, a whole video on all these new color shift paints or flare, whatever you want to call these, this brand. It's a flare paint. I've got some of them over here in my shop that I use. Um, I want to see how thick it is. I don't know I'm actually going to go ahead and get a little cup to check. And I'll I tell you something else I do too, and I'll I'll share that with you. I haven't, I don't think I shared it on my videos. Is I have one of these stirrers. It's made by Badger, and it's electric. You just cut it on and stir your paints up with it. Anytime I get new paints, or if I've used a, you know, if I got a paint that I haven't used in a while, I, I'm going to take it and I'm going to stir it up really good because. I want to get the best effect. Um, this one's actually uh, 
W459 Wicked Flare Lemon Lime. It's got a really cool color. But like I said, they're, they're sprayed over black. I want to see how thin it is. I Like I said, I like to reduce paint anyway. Um, it's, it's a little thicker than what I usually use. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little reducer to it. And we're going to give it a try. See how it's going to react to this. So let me get some 4011. And I'll put about 5% in there, a couple drops. I'm going to spray it through my Creos. I've already mixed me some Candy 2O Poison Green. I want to use it on it also. So I'm going to stir this up really good so it just flows through the gun. I don't, I don't want to fight that. I think that's one of the mistakes we do make as painting. We want to just pour it in. Now, some of these illustration colors are a little different. You can get by with that, depending on which one it is. So we're gonna try this lemon lime. I may have to mix a little more. I didn't, I didn't put a whole lot in there. We'll try it on the eyes first. And then we'll go ahead and go over the top. Since I reduced it, it's actually going to be a little bit thinner, so it's probably going to have to be built up on it. I can already see it. As soon as I turn it, I see it. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm just going to hit certain areas. So. I mean, I know these cert this little stencil is just very small. I can use it, and I'll just find the right size that I want to use, and I'll just put it on here, and I'll just hit over it just so I can hit the black. And it's kind of hard to see, but what I'm going to do the next time, I'm going to try to spray it straight. I think I made it a little bit too thin. because it is thin. So I can see it already changing the top. Especially when I turn it. So we'll go ahead and try a little bit straight in and see if that has a, a different effect on it. I mean, it's really not super thick, I don't guess. I probably could have got by without that. But it gives you the best effect over a black. I mean, I've got a really good idea on the crawl bait I want to do with it. See, now that it's sitting, I can actually see it a little bit better. It's got a, got a real cool look to it. I'm going to go ahead and heat set that really fast. 
I'm gonna step away from you just for a minute. Some, I think I'm going to take some chartreuse and I'm going to kind of add a little bit to these. You can actually see it now. It's got a good color shift, even on the black. When you turn it, it's hard to see on the camera. It really is. Um, and what I'll do is I'm going to add a little bit of yellow to certain spots of the, the pattern. I mean, it really probably would have been a little bit more ideal if I'd have painted the bait yellow and used white. But I wanted to, like I said, I was trying to check out the the new um, uh, high gloss white. I wanted to see it. Um, so that's kind of why I did the frog in this color. Probably would have done it differently, but like I said, I'm just kind of playing around with it. We put a little bit of this in it. This will definitely brighten it up. If you've never used um, if you've never used the, the um, golden uh, chartreuse, it'll yeah, it'll it'll definitely wake you up. Um, and I'll use this little stencil again, and I'll just kind of hit some of the low areas on it just to kind of give it some color. Not gonna add a lot to it. And it's loose. Cut this down a little bit. That is loose. All I'm wanting it to do is get me a paper towel up here so I can check my gun. Okay. Like I said, this little stencil is not ideal, perfect to what this is. I'm just trying to hit some certain spots on it. Just to add a little bit of yellow to it. Doesn't have to be a whole lot, just, just enough, just so you can see it. I'm not trying to take away the, the color shift. I'm just going to add a, a little bit of yellow to some of these bottoms. want to do a few just to give it some just a different look give it a little more color like I said it's all about your creativity I mean what you want to paint. And it, 
doesn't even have to be on the dots itself. It can be just down from it. This gives it a, a different look. So I'm gonna shoot, I'm gonna shoot some um, poison green over that. And kind of play with it a little bit. Put a little bit here in the front. Cover it up with that green anyway. Leave that belly white. I think I'm going to hit a little bit more of that color shift on it now on the top. It's not too terribly thick. I mean, I just, like I said, I'm just, I like to reduce paint. So that's all. Get that water out of my gun before I start layering this on. See, the thing is, if you start spraying this over, um, like white, it's just gonna give it a sheen. It's not gonna, when you put it over black is when you get the best result. And I can see the, the lemon lawn when I turn the bait. And that's what you want. It's kind of like, you know, if you, if you haven't used um, interference paints, it's kind of got this, you know, similar effect when you, when you turn those baits at a different angle, they have a different look. Um, with the interference paint, I, let me see if I have one right here close, I can show you. It's a highlight interference. You know, they, they've actually got them in Wicked now, but this one is actually a green. It's a 44-23, but it kind of has a, a similar type effect of that flare. It's got a when you turn it to a certain angle, it'll it'll have, and you don't want to use a lot of that interference paint on baits. Um, I could use it on this white, and it would give it a green tint, but I'm going to use the candy on this, so I'm not going to do that. And like I said, I'm just playing with it tonight, just kind of just seeing what it's going to do. And it's when the bait turns, I can really see it on the top now. It's really turned to lemon lime on the eyes, the bottom, and I can see it on the black on the sides. It kind of gives it a kind of just a three-dimensional type look. It's kind of a neat, a really neat paint. They, they, they have a couple other new ones too. I didn't buy those. I, I wanted to try the lemon lime. I, I, I like green. I use a lot of green because I catch fish on green. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take some, some poison green candy 2-0 and I'm just gonna spray it around this. It um oh uh, I'm gonna go ahead and heat set this one more time really quick. Because the good thing about the candy 2 O is they're super transparent. You can use them for a lot of variety of things. I can spray them over the transparent the, the chartreuse, the black. I can spray it over this lemon lime and I'll get a different effect on it. I may even put 
a few white, a little bit of white in here too, just to kind of dress it up before I put that on. Oh, I'm gonna pour this candy to go back in here. I'm gonna I think I am gonna do that. I'm gonna put a little bit of white in those black spots. I think it'll make it look better. But I think I'm actually gonna do it. I mean, I'm gonna try this new high gloss. I'm gonna do it with the ribbon. I'm gonna do something a little bit different outside the box on this one. Let's make sure we got this thing springing right. It is loose. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna take this. And I'm just going to hit some of them. I can see straight through it. I don't even need to clamp it down. I know. I can see where I'm at. I'm going to take a little bit of white here. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to put the white on the opposite sides of the color shift. So, so we'll give it a definitely out there but it's got a neat lemon lime top and put a little bit of this green in it well the good thing about it is that the, the like I said the candy 2.0 is super transparent so it's not gonna really affect it so I'm gonna hit these sides with it It's 
kind of a wild looking one. <laughs> it's definitely outside the box. It's definitely outside the box. Um, so what I'm gonna do is let that dry just for a second. I'm gonna get some of this UVLS, the new one. And this is actually the, the high gloss, the new one. It is 4053 high gloss. The other one is just gloss. And it is, to be honest with you, it's a little thinner than um than the other, than the regular gloss. They must have thinned it out a little bit. I like that better because that um the regular gloss will will choke your gun down like like a bad habit. Um if you're not careful and not clean that thing out when you're done. So I'm gonna mix this up and let it sit for just a second. We're gonna get some eyes out. I think I'm gonna put some. I think I'm gonna put some chrome yellow eyes in this, just for some fun. See where it goes. Our fluorescent yellow. Give it a little bit of kick. It's a little bit outside the box. I don't know what I'm even gonna call this one. it up a little bit should they're bright as they can be these are some bright eyes they should go really good with the lemon lime and I think they're going to just a fun little thing to play around with I mean I just wanted to check out the paint color see how it was going to work didn't have anything really in mind that I was going to paint tonight and I've kind of I hadn't painted in a couple of days. Um, just wanted to get back in here, especially when I got the paints. I wasn't supposed to get them till Monday, and they showed up at the door, so that was kind of nice. So, put these eyes back up. We'll get this tape off this bill. And uh, I'll let you see it. Like I said, it's a little, it's a little outside the box, a little different. Not, it's not going to be one for realism. If that's what you're looking for, it's, this ain't the bait. I'm just playing, goofing off, having some fun with it. Probably not my best, but still fun to paint. Any day in the booth a good day. So let's get that up. Like I said, probably would have done a few things differently. But that lemon lime color shift is kind of a cool paint. It definitely, when you change, when you shift it around, it's, it's definitely gonna be there. And this color will catch fish where I live, so. This one will be going in my tackle box. If my fishing partner, Tom Owens, doesn't get it. He fishes a lot more than I get to. I work too much. So we're gonna load up some of this high gloss and turn this pressure on up. And we're gonna go ahead and hit it. It definitely has a, a better shine than the regular, I'll tell you that. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but it has definitely got a much glossier finish. So if you like the UVLS, which I love it, I use it all the time, it's gonna be a winner for you. I know it's gonna be a winner for me and, and my painting with what I do. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry and I'm gonna epoxy this on another day after it dries. I appreciate the support I get. Um, hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell notification um, so you know when I'm doing upcoming videos. 
Go see Jeff at Whitmore Farms, www.whitmorefarm. He has excellent stencils. Um, go check your Createx dealer out. These paints are fabulous. They're going to be great. Um, just the ones I use tonight, I really, really like. I love the Color Shift Lemon Lawn. Um, didn't get to use the frog juice on this. I wanted to use that. That's a color that really intrigues me. The UVLS High Gloss, I, I, I'm telling you, it is day and night difference compared to the other one. So go check it out, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks.